Welcome back to another edition of Components Breakdown. Today, we're going to look at a small, self-published title called Walkstar. Walkstar was released in limited quantity at Origins 2010 and is being prepped for a wide release in September 2010. The game is a one to four player cooperative game that's themed around building up and maintaining a Chinese restaurant. It has such mechanics as dice rolling, simultaneous action selection, and variable player powers. What we're going to do now is we're going to open up the box, take a look at all the components that come inside, and tell you a little bit more about the game itself. The first thing I wanted to show you guys was the box size itself. So I've pulled out Forbidden Island just as a reference. Um, Forbidden Island is in wide release right now. It's kind of a pandemic style game, so a lot of people will have this as reference. Um, it's roughly the same length and width as that game. It runs about an inch uh, more shallow. It's got some really, really great caricature artwork on the front cover. What you will notice, though, is that the box is plain white on the inside and out. And what you're seeing here are, is a large sticker that's been applied to the front cover and to the back. And you can see that sticker right there on the edging. I'm not sure if this is being fixed in the second game. It's not a deterrent by any means, but since I do component reviews, it's a good idea to show people exactly what they're buying. What people are going to be pleased with, what's, though, is what's inside the box. So let's do that right now and open it up. So now we've opened up the box, and let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside. The first thing you're going to notice is a folded rule book. This is not something that I tend to enjoy. Uh, the rule book is, is fairly well written. There are some problems with some of the wording in here, and I believe that's being fixed for the second round that's being produced. I just don't tend to like stuff that's been folded as such. It probably could have been printed on a smaller um, bound type manual and placed in here. All in all though, the game is easy to understand. It's, it's fairly well written. Uh, didn't really pose that many problems. I had a chance to actually sit down with Tim, the designer at Gen Con 2010, with him, my wife, and some of our friends to play a game. So it was kind of helpful that he was there, but for the most part, we pretty much understood everything anyway. Moving on though, let's get to um, the meat of what's inside the box. Everything is self-loading in here. There's no compartmentalization at all, and that's okay. I have bagged everything inside the game. What you do get in here though are a whole lot of cards. There's family or character cards, there's preparation cards, there's customer cards, there's a purchase track in here, and some other event style cards that you'll have to, to use as the game goes on. You also get a large number of dice, ingredient tokens with different ingredients on them. You get a score sheet which is just 8.5 by 11 that's been cut in half. These are the only two real problems that I have in the game. These are almost paperweight. On this one seems to be okay. They've rounded the edges on it, but it holds the current customer and the customer deck itself. But the one right below it does not have rounded edges. It's cut all the way to the edge, which makes it just appear not very professional in my opinion and again it's a really lightweight but this is where you have the event deck the bad publicity and the potential customer deck sitting on top it comes with two timers a red and a blue and these are plastic and that's okay but what the awesome part about the game are these boards that consist of the main board itself these are like they're not even cardboard they're like an MDF um, wooden board. I mean, it, it's great stuff. Now the resolution on them, as you can see right there, is not the best on the counter track around the game, but the artwork in here is spot on. So with that, let's actually set up the game to show you what it looks like when it's set up, and then we'll go to my final thoughts about the game itself. And now we've laid everything out on the table itself, and we've actually put the board together. We're going to walk through it one more time, showing you everything that comes inside the box, because we don't want to shortchange the small developer by any means. So the first thing that they've included in here are four sets of collared dice, with eight dice in each set. These represent the different players in the game. There are two of these crystal tokens. One is for the scoring track that goes around the board, and the second is for the purchase track. 
All the ingredients are likewise on a wooden type of uh, chip, which is very nice. The cards are incredibly thick. I mean, these are some really heavy duty thick cards. Great, great paper stock that was used on these. You have all the event cards, all the recipe cards. Again, as you can tell, they're extremely thick just by doing that. The preparation cards, the two player mats up here for all the decks that will eventually go on there, the two plastic timers, the leaderboard chart, and then all the customer cards themselves. And the last thing I wanted to focus on again was the board itself. It comes into four different areas. Now, they come apart with this little jigsaw and they do fit perfectly in there. I love this board. I think this board is one of the best small developed boards out there. It's really unique. Um, it's really high quality stuff. Now, my opinion of the game itself. This is one of the most frantic real-time games I've ever played. It's crazy. I mean, it goes a mile a minute. It requires some huge cooperation between players. If you play it per the rules, it's a little bit diff difficult to actually beat the game because it requires a lot of hand touching for things that you are preparing and giving dice to things that other people are preparing and you can't cross the hands back and forth which makes the game really difficult that and the fact that the timer is always going from one round to the, to the next round and so forth basically you have about 20 seconds to prepare every single piece of food um, that comes up with a card very difficult game awesome theme though I mean the theme this thing is just dripping with theme you actually feel like you're working behind a restaurant uh, or inside of a restaurant kitchen. It's, it's frantic, it's crazy, um, requires a huge amount of cooperation, very cool game, and I, I'm really looking forward to more stuff by this guy. So, that is Walkstar and all of its components. I hope everyone had a good idea of what the game consists of inside the box. Thanks again for watching.